Hi everyone, this is a look into the current energies. I'll start with the astrology and then I'll talk through the cards I've pulled. So the big message is at the moment retrogrades. We're in Mercury retrograde from the 26th of November to the 16th of December, but it's out of post shadow on the 3rd of January 2025. So as usual, this is those niggles, delays, extra costs, um, reviewing and rethinking things and new information coming to light. We've also got Mars that's just gone retrograde on the 7th of December in Leo and then back into Cancer. And it doesn't go direct again until the 24th of February. And then it's not out of the shadow until the 2nd of May. So Mars is obviously a really dynamic energy and it likes to move and go forwards. Um, so with both these retrogrades on, you may really want to be pushing ahead with something, but don't rush things as more reflection needs to be done and you'll benefit from more reflection because more information still needs to come to light over this time. And it's information that will help you to make, um, you know, better decisions. Um, other planets, we've got Saturn direct, but it's not out of the shadow of its recent retrograde until February 2025. So this is just a bit more hard slog away at something that you need to be working on and not cutting corners with until the end of February. Um, Neptune went direct on the 8th of December. So this is saying during this time, let your spiritual practice and philosophy and insight guide you through this time of reflection and review and reorganization, rethinking and analysis. So take that higher perspective on what's going on. Try not to get bogged down in the weight of everything you have to go through. Um, and Pluto is direct in Aquarius. And again, in February uh, 2025, it's out of the shadow of its recent retrograde. So um, really end of February is when there's like the breaks are fully off. So just be aware of that. If you are feeling a bit held back and a bit restricted, that could be why, but it is for good reason. Sometimes we do need to slow down a bit and give ourselves that headspace and just practical space to think about things and get things done. Um, this made me wonder when the next eclipses were. So we've got next year, the 14th of March, full moon total lunar eclipse at 23 degrees of Virgo, and then 29th of March, partial solar eclipse in Aries. So March next year was when you're really going to be able to act on the fruits of this time of reflection. Um, so on to the psychic weather. If you look at the Celtic Wheel of the Year, this time we're in now up until um, the uh, solstice, 21st of December is a time of pause. And then from solstice up until Imbolc on the 1st of February, it's a time of stillness. And that really does tie in with the astrology. And then from the 1st of Feb up until 21st of March, it's the season of hope. So hold on to that. Um, in general, two themes, energetic themes have come out when I've tuned into this time. So first one is reflection. It's saying it's not too late to change your mind about something. In fact, you should have analyzed a previous decision you've made, given recent developments and new feelings and new information that you hadn't been aware of when you made that decision and rethink about it. So maybe it's a case of feeling like I don't want that anymore or I know what I want now um, or I know what I need now more clearly than I did before. The other theme is the influence of others. I did speak about this in I think the last video or the one before about it being a time of different new and interesting people coming into your life. So it's just asking how are other people influencing you? What feelings are involved with other people? What's the impact of this new person or new people been? How have they changed you or the course of your life? And that's a big question. You may not know 
till the future when you look back on this time. Um, what have you learned or what are you learning? So just reflect on that. There's really strong past life connection with people around you at the moment. So you've probably had a sense with someone of I know you or I found you again and why, why now? And just think about why did you need them now or why did they need you now? Why has this come about now? Okay. Um, oh, and talking of psychic weather, the actual weather has been wild this weekend. Here in the UK, really high winds, um, just constant horizontal rain, huge storm. So as usual, weather like this points at the water, the washing, cleansing, releasing, letting go. And I think there's just a huge collective wave of emotion from the collective consciousness coming out. And in terms of release, you often notice physical symptoms when it's like this. So it could be toxic, like skin release, stomach, having colds, like releasing out through the respiratory system, or just other physical symptoms of release and letting go. Okay, so these are the cards that I've pulled for this time. First one is Seven of Wands. So that's saying any battle or difficulties or disagreements that you're in, remember that you have the upper hand. So don't take it too seriously or worry about it too much. Don't let it drain your energy or distract you from other bigger, more important things you should be doing and thinking about. Um, so it's one, so it is linked in with work and dealing with others at work. It can also suggest, because he's higher up than the other people, a promotion or a new job at work. Um, but overall, there's just this theme of rising above drama one way or another. Um, there's also, it's also saying there's someone sneaky around. So don't confront them or fight them or get into an argument. Just really protect your energy from them. I would say avoid them or walk away. Just don't engage. Um, okay, then we got Page of Wands and the Hierophant together. So Page of Wands is a really fresh new energy. Once again, so linked in with work. Um, it, the page can be about correspondence, messages, good news linked into work. So again, it could be something good happening at work, positive change, promotion, new job even. Um, and it may, the new job may not be happening now, but steps towards it. And then we got the Hierophant, which is all about teaching. So you've got a lot to share with others and teach to others. And remember that your experience and your insights are so valuable and should be shared. It really benefits you to do that and others. Um, it's also a very spiritual card. So it's saying spirit is very strongly around you and guiding you now. So to trust in that. And it's also saying to tune into your spiritual um, side, focus on spiritual matters rather than <clears throat> getting bogged down in practical day-to-day -day things. Take that spiritual higher perspective. Um, and this card, it's a five, so it can point to May, the fifth month. So May, there could be something happening then that you've been waiting for. That could be part of this forward movement that's happening with the eclipses coming in March, like leading into that. Um, and before then, even if you want something before then, it wouldn't quite be ready. So trust in that and trust in all the steps and, you know, the, the, uh, circumstances and the conversations and the things that you do leading up to that time. Okay, everyone, hope that was useful. I am planning on making some more videos than I normally do over Christmas and New Year. I know that that time of year can be really stressful. I know there's a lot of pressure, you know, around Christmas that it's meant to be a happy time and you're meant to be with family and connecting with people. And I know for a lot of people that's just not the case and it can be a difficult time. So I'm planning on just putting some messages out to support anyone who happens to tune in with what they need. Um, might be some cards, some crystals, just having a look at the astrology, whatever comes through. So if that interests you, um, look out for those videos. I'll probably start them in about two weeks because I have some time off work then as well. Okay, 
Have a good week, everyone. I'll talk again soon. Thank you for listening.